In my second battery charge test with the LG G5, a phone that's equipped to handle Quick Charge 3.0, it doesn't come with a Quick Charge 3.0 charger by the way, so I had to buy one that I still haven't figured out how to get Qualcomm 0 to 80% charge in 35 minute claim. Someone mentioned keeping the phone on instead of letting the phone die at zero, so I tried that. Charged it with 2% battery life, but still no difference. Similar charging times. I tried using the stock charging USB cable with a USB Type-C adapter, and still no difference. Same charging times. There's a bigger issue at hand here. An issue that Google engineer Benson Lung uh, hopefully I'm saying his name right, is actively addressing. And that's the issue with Qualcomm violating the USB Type-C specifications. I will try my best to break this down. A few months ago, Benson mentioned how a USB Type-C cable ruined his $1,500 Pixel 2, and then went on a crusade on Amazon to review USB Type-C cables that were good and made sure to address any that were well, bad, and to stay away from. Uh, Benson explains how Quick Charge 2.0 and 3.0 use something called variable voltage on VBus to get more power over the cables, which gives you a faster charge. Uh, let me explain. The, the USB Type-C specification states that modifying VBus to anything higher than 5 volts is forbidden. The issue here, according to Benson, is that Qualcomm's proprietary approach changes VBus above 5 volts. Specifically, it'll move it up to 9 volts and 12 volts, which Benson later explains is why you don't see Quick Charge 2.0 or 3.0 on the Nexus 5X or 6P. And now it makes sense to me because I was really confused why the Nexus wasn't adopting this technology. Instead, uh, the latest Nexus phones use a different method for fast charging called power delivery. It's a non-proprietary way to charge your phone faster than your older standard chargers and follows USB Type-C specifications. And so with all of that said, Benson pretty much he, he points out that any phones that use Quick Charge 3.0 like the LG G5 and the upcoming HTC 10 are not spec compliant with USB Type-C. Qualcomm, they've been seeing this go around on the internet on Google Plus and so they came out with an official statement and I'll read a little snippet of it um when an OEM chooses to implement quick charge into their device, they can configure the voltage to fit within the specifications of the USB Type-C standard. We have received no reports of user experience or device malfunction issues with or without USB Type-C connectors. Okay, so is it me or is Qualcomm passing the buck then to the OEM for blame if there was an issue with quick charge 3.0? So far, I haven't heard anything go bad on an LG G5 Due to its quick charger, but it's early, so who knows? You know, for now, my quick charge 3.0 charger, it's probably gonna go back to Amazon. I'll be using the stock charger and cable the G5 came with, and I'll probably keep it at that. It looks like I'll be doing the same for the HTC 10, or at least until I can find someone who's actually gotten a phone to charge from 0 to 80% in 35 minutes. I still want to see it with my own eyes. But it's nice to see someone like Benson looking out for us and exposing whatever truth there is. <laughs>